The majority of my fishing revolves around quick overnighters between work. Um, I don't get the luxury of 48 hours or 72 hour sessions every week. The main aspect of my fishing is pre baiting. go down to the lake at least three or four times a week, get the bait trickled in on the same spots, the same bait, as much as I can to get the fish coming back to my spots. Visiting my spots regularly, so when I turn up after work, in the darkness most times, I get my rods on my spots and I'm confident that by the time I leave the next morning, whilst it's probably still dark, I may or may not get a bite, but more times than not, with the consistent baiting, I will get a bite. So I'm quite confident going into overnighters that I will catch. <laughs> So in my van at all times, I have two, two main buckets, one filled with my bait and my other filled with my additives and my liquids. Um, and I have a third bucket, which I make the mix up in. My main mix, which always revolves around trigger, I always have a five kilogram bag of trigger shelf life boilies. That builds up the majority of my bait. And then I always have one K bags of trigger pellets, which are the bulk of the bait as well. So I'll always, have a stock of these in my van at all times. To complement these, I have the nut sludge, the trigger pineapple and embuteric acid, liquid booster, and the multimino liquid. They're my three main liquids that I go to every time. So I've always got a stock of these, they're always in the buckets, and no matter when I'm passing the lake, I can always manage to get a bit of bait in, and I'm confident that this enhances my chances. So what I do is, I'll start with a couple of handfuls of whole trigger boilers, they go straight in. I'll then mix this up, I'll put a few whole and halved and crushed ones in, just to get the fish scrubbing about. So a couple of them go in, in the crusher. So yeah, and to that. I'll add four mil pellets. I've always got a mixture of sizes. I just feel it holds the fish in your swim longer if you've got a few mixed sizes. So, good helping of the four mil. And then I especially like the two mil because I feel like these hold your fish in your swim longer and they just get grubbing them about. So they go in. Give that a good mix. So the three main liquids that always go into my mix, I always try and keep them the same because they're my favourite three products, are the liquid booster, either the trigger pineapple and embuteric, or just the trigger, either work just as well for me. And the next is the multimino liquid, one of my favourites, goes into every single one of my mixes. And then lastly is the nut sludge, which, has been, which was released last year, which is a great addition to my mix. Along with this, I also have Tins of sweet corn, I always keep eight to 10 tins in this bucket at all times. Um, I have a little bucket of shelf life tigers, which I've whole land crushed in as well. Just sometimes add it to that just to mix it up a bit. And then I also 
but sometimes I have either the salmon sludge or the hemp sludge, which both go in, which also are great additions to the mix. Um, so I'll make up this mix roughly a couple of kilos at a time and then as I'm coming into my session I'll put half a kilo on each rod on each spot which I feel is enough to get a bite as I've obviously been keeping this consistent baiting through the week and then it also leaves me a little bit left over if I do get a bite on the other night to get one rod back out and I feel two kilograms is just the right amount for what I need at the time. With this I always feel that the fish keep coming back in on my spot and I feel like it's just enough bait to keep them grubbing around, obviously with the different sized bits in the mix of the whole boily, the half boily and the crushed. I just think it's perfect for what I need. But this doesn't change throughout the whole year, so through summer, coming into autumn, coming into winter, I keep the same amount of bait going in on the spots. I just feel the consistent baiting will keep the fish feeding. I don't tend to ease off on my bait during the winter, I, I just keep it the same all the year, all the year through. And obviously if I get if I start getting more bites and consistent bites, I will start upping it. I'm not afraid to put a bit more in if I need to. I'll sometimes put a kilogram, two kilograms on a spot if I need to, if it's doing consistent bites. For example, last winter, my middle rod spot, which was my most productive, that was getting probably triple the amount of baits on the other two because it was just doing so many bites. The fish just seemed to keep homing in on this one particular spot. Not sure why, but it was doing it for me, so I just kept the bait going. In. So one of the main benefits of what I do and the, the way that I approach it is with, with having these two buckets and everything being shelf life, if I don't manage to get down to the lake for instance, if I did plan on going but it, something popped up and I couldn't, didn't make it down but I've got the mix in the van, it won't go off, I'll save it till next time, I'm not wasting any bait at all ever. I'll keep, the, I'll keep the sweet corn separate and I'll t add that in as I'm at the lake but the actual main mix of the trigger mix that will stay in the van. I'm happy that it's never going to go off. With this method, I feel my catch returns kind of speak for themselves. I'm happy catching anything and everything, whether it's a couple of 10 pounds on an overnighter or a 30 pound fish. I, I really am not fussed what I catch. I just feel like getting bites is what I want to do. Each to their own. Some people want to chase foxes. Some people, for me, for instance, I like to get bites. And I feel this method does that for me. It gets constant bites, obviously with the constant pre-baiting. The results are there to be had. If, if you can make the time and effort to get down to the lake and trickle the bait in, you're going to catch fish. And with this method, it just works perfectly for me every time.